Now into our whistle widget of the week. This is something that we use in our daily life that saves us time, makes us money, or just helps us have more fun. Jared, would you like to go first or would you like me to? Uh, I mean, I can go first. Go I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, the hard part is when you when I, you asked me to have a, a widget, I was like, I know Kyle and Brian's talked about like every widget out there. Yeah, but, I'm excited about this. No, so this one was just Park Wiz. Uh, it was it was so like park. if you really have to pee, which are the no. best parks that are far <laughs> enough away from school? I think it's supposed to be like Wizard. I think it's just P A R K W I Z Z for like parking wizard <laughs> kind of thing. But Park Wiz, it really is. If you're going to if you're going to go to a baseball event, you're going to go to a networking event. You go to downtown. You go to a convention. You're going to a real estate thing. You can put on there. What time you want to, how long, how many hours, whether it be three hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. And you can look at all the different, like what they cost, like online, like in a map. And so you know exactly where to go. Cause I hate when I go downtown or I go to a new area and I'm driving around and all of a sudden you find a parking spot and you look up and it's like $500 to park here. And you're like, nope, not going to park here. And then you're going somewhere else and then you can't find parking and then you're late. You can preemptively park there. Sometimes it's parking garages. Sometimes it's, people's condos that you can reserve their spot i believe um and it tells you and then you just scan and you can prepay so when you walk up it reserves your spot so you're guaranteed a spot for the most part i don't want to say guaranteed because someone's gonna be like well, i tried to I mean, you're not a part but of anyways, it anyways yeah <laughs> you're so not you, a- you you scan it you know, like in the wherever the parking thing meter is and then and you're good to go and you put in your license plate number so you know exactly where you want to park you know the distance it is to get to your venue you're trying to get and you have a reserve spot and you know exactly how much it's going to cost very cool. Yeah. I like that. That's not about ping and parks. That's probably way better yeah. uh, than ping and parks. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about is if you're watching us on YouTube, uh, you can see this behind us. This is our, our background. And these are uh, kind of metal panels that we have lights behind. And people ask me all the time where we get them and I have to find it. It takes me 10 minutes on Amazon to figure out where we bought it. Um, if you search decorative fences on Amazon, um, these they, they have a bunch of different types and sizes and styles, but that's the the phrase. Sometimes you're like, I don't even know what to search. Um, and so you can use these, uh, for, for those of you that are listening, they're six feet tall, black metal uh, fence type things. They're about what, four feet wide and they have cutouts. Ours have kind of some geometric designs. Um, and these each one of these costs about 200 bucks. Um, but these are great if you wanna separate spaces in your office, in your house, in an open house. Um, we use it as a backdrop. Like I said, we have our lights behind it. Um, but if you, if you're looking for something like this, uh, look on Amazon for decorative fences and you'll find, I think the one link that we looked at, we bought this one from had like 20 different options. Um, but that's my widget is these decorative fences. So thank you so much for joining us this week on our whistle, uh, whistle way podcast. We'll see you guys next week. Wait, wait. Before you leave, I want to share some more tips and tricks that we're using in our business to take it to that next level. Just click right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Click right here.